Well, Vikram, we talk about fintech. When it comes to fintech hubs, fintech centers, Singapore is trying to position itself as one. How does it compare to, for example, London? and New York. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of activity everywhere in the world. It's not only in London, it's not only in New York, not in the Valley, Israel, India. And, uh, you know, where we does know, it stand then? Okay, I think, I think the entrepreneurial aspects of the opportunity are clear to a lot of people around the world. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more activity here in Singapore. And all of this comes back to technology, making it easier to start new businesses and making it easier to serve clients for the needs they have. And I wouldn't be surprised if the activity keeps going. So what does it take for Singapore to surpass the other fintech hubs? Well, what would you like to see? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure it's a race to some numbers. It's a race about quality. It's a race about what's in your own backyard. So, I mean, we know of a number of great startups here that have done a great job in serving the ASEAN countries, or they've done a great job in market making or, or things of that sort. So um, different areas acquire different expertise. I think in Singapore, there's a great opportunity to think about Southeast Asia and the greater Asia and to figure out how to serve those customers better. Uh, you founded Origin and you've been investing in mature financial services companies and related businesses. What do you look for in these companies and what will you be looking out for? Well, we hopefully want to identify companies that are likely to be prospering in where the architecture is evolving to. And the architecture is evolving towards companies that think about the jobs that clients want to do, the needs they have, and the kind of companies we like are those that have proven their business model. They're at that point where they need to scale, and we can help them scale dramatically. And hopefully these become the new champions. And we, we've been talking about startups. Where do you see promise? Which markets, which countries, economies, are putting in the effort to produce these startups. I know you say that we're seeing it across the world, but yeah. are there leaders in, in this area? Well, you are seeing it across the world, and I think that's important. You know, finance is ubiquitous. Every country has huge financial sectors. So we're seeing it in Brazil, we're seeing it in Mexico, we're seeing it everywhere. Um, but, um, you know, I think China and what's happened there is something to think about. And for the rest of the world, the pace at which innovation has caught on in the financial sector is, uh, I said this before, quite breathtaking. Why is that? Is it because of the underserved? Is it because of the ability for huge fintech companies to innovate? Well, I think it's all of that. It's, uh, it's a huge market. Not all the needs are met. Um, even today, only 14% of China uses mobile wallets, and that's already huge. Imagine how big that's going to be. Um, <clears throat> but also, um, the, uh, the propensity to use technology and the way they analyze data is enormously ahead of many parts of the world. Availability of data, the availability of um, of the kind of talent that's necessary is one of the drivers. So essentially, are you then saying that the battle of the future will be along data lines? I think data is a very important component because it's data that helps you think about what the customer needs, what the job is that the customer needs to do. The companies of the future are going to serve that customer, and for that you need data. And the biggest risks you see would be? Well, I don't know what all the biggest risks are, but cybersecurity is an important risk because it does come down to data, and that's an important one. But is there a chance that regulators may be slow in responding to the progress? Oh, absolutely. I think, I think um, there is a chance that some of these companies may become huge and systemically important, and you want to make sure that accidents don't happen. I know the regulators are focused on that, but that's always a risk.